Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island and last time my my video saved okay even though my uh, action kept on crashing um, but welcome back to Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island where we're continuing on um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this next part but uh, this video will be in the five days that is between Final Fantasy 6 Part 25 and Final Fantasy 6 Part 25 26. Um, I was I did think today about doing up to 30, but I thought nah. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is hopefully can get the next part of this. I'm gonna do five videos um, of this, or maybe a few more, however I really want to do, and um, go through a next amount of this game until I decide to stop. Um, and then I'll start working on Final Fantasy 6 again, and then we'll do the same again for this. Um, if, it, if it's not this, I might upload this and something else, but at the moment, at recording this video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We've got a uh, uh, bartender up now, so we can now talk to him. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? I'd like something subtle with a hint of oak. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go on my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. <laughs> ah, Papa Pichu, here's your glass back. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Oh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup and left me alone in this rotting hotel. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino What do you know about the Lost Ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great-aunt Minnie Stroney Goodsoup was a well-to-do member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family tomb. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead! Uh, hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh, crud. How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular is a spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, no offense, Madam Zima. A pax on your firstborn! Hmm, yes, right. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Ah, one cold night, so the tale goes. The Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon, but the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When he'd rowed half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed, and the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? 
Oh, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Alright, so we need to die. And the way you do this is... Uh, this is how you really get things moving. And if you're not, if you don't know this, you can wander around a long time in this and not know what to do. Luckily, I know what to do. I'd like a drink, please. Sure, sure. <laughs> ah, Papa Pichu, here's your glass back. I'd like a drink, please. Right. The bottle's closed. Darn childproof caps? I can't open it. Head be clear, for clearing foggy heads. I'm not hungover. I feel great. That opened it. Alright, now you use this on the grog. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. It looks dangerous. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> Then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer, but I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all, funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. <laughs> hey! Well, I guess that's the end of the game, guys. Um... I'm not so, really dead. This has been Classic Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And um, I'll Come see on, you in the uh, next video. I'm just kidding. It won't open. I'm trapped. Help! It sure is dark. So, what you want to do is... Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. Right, we want to pick up the... No. It 
it's locked. Mm, no. Lots of coffins in here. Nah. Go into the light! I think that knocking is coming from inside this coffin. I can't open it. I'm glad to be finally out of that thing, even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there! Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, well... Uh... Of course! Guybrush Threepwood! You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Mm -hmm. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. Okay, if you go... There you go. They're all set up. This village is deserted, and yet it looks as if there's going to be a great feast. How curious. It's a block of tofu as big as my head. I don't want to put my hand in there. familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh yeah, but it's more than that. We've met before, back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh! The whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. You know, I can hold my breath underwater for ten minutes. I see. What if the water's boiling? Do you think you could last about 45 minutes? It's been so long since I've made any bullion. How I did love bullion. Oh. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. Really? 
That's fascinating. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle. Completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. Nice village you have. Thanks. It's not much, but we call it home. We've been doing our best to capture the classic charm of a headhunter village, while at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic, which has been cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. How quaint! Yes, we think so. Gotta run. Bye. Not so fast. What do you want? Gotta run. Bye. That looks like a mask. I'll just walk over here so he won't see me put this on. Right, so um, what we're doing here is uh, we need to go. Yeah. They're doing. A, I think they're doing a sacrifice for the volcano. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis, accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose, free of all fat and trans fatty acids, so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village and not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. Yes, they are roasting marshmallows. I don't want to throw him into the volcano. You feed the volcano mannequins made from vegetables? Yes, we do. Sherman isn't a strict vegetarian, but fatty foods can cause him severe indigestion. Nice day for a sacrifice. Only one a day. Sherman is sensitive to overfeeding. Yes, but I'm sure he won't mind some cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> Pot is used for something later, but I think I have to do something else first. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. I'm not going back up there. It's too dangerous. It's a big, heavy-looking cast iron cooking pot. I'm not going to carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. Ah, that's how you make the tar for haggis. I guess I'll just drag this down to haggis now. Here, haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it.
It's full of sugar water now. I think, you could, I think what you need to do, in order to get the Welshman there, you need to make a compass. And I know people get stuck when they get a compass, but... Okay. Think. Okay, it floats, but it still doesn't point anywhere. Cool, a cork with a magnetic pin stuck in it. The mind boggles at the possibilities. I can't use the magnet with that. It's a cork with a magnetized pin stuck in it. Hey, neat, it points north. Science That's science. how you, you know make the, secret. the compass. That is awesome. That's how you do it. I knew it was something like that, but I couldn't remember how you did it. Now, I've just worked it out without looking up a guide or anything like that. I'm rather impressed with Hi, guys. Wonders. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, eh? Uncle Griswold, it's me! Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? Wonton. Wonton? I spent several years in the Orient. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. All right, so we need to we need to make us out to be a member of the. Uh... It leads back into the hallway. It's nailed to the wall. I can't use the mallet with that. I'm sure there's nothing in there except one of those hotel Bibles. Knock out this uh, portrait. Walk back outside. leads back into the hallway. Nah. It's nailed to the wall. How did you pick this one up? It's not let me do it. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. There. The bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. Wow. 
I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. Gross. The Good Soups, A Life in Pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. I could just talk about Good Soup history all day. How about that first fate made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... Baron Salmon Bisque the Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. For short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the Western. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean and had a restaurant empire that spanned the globe. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the Good Soup chain of restaurants and resorts become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. All right. Whatever. Well, son, it looks like you were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. I'm, uh, honored. And as a Good Soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount to any of the Good Soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, of course, medical, dental, and a 401k. And the best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant Good Soup family crypt. It's as if all my dreams have come true. Alright guys, I'm actually going to call that a video, um, because I forgot that the thing with the picture is actually on Mega Monkey, not on what we're playing on right now. So I'll save it on my normal one, we'll keep the other one as a backup just in case. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you all in the next video.